If you're a builder or a modeler, you need to know what your plumber is doing and you want to specify good products. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about these shutoff valves and explore the differences between an expensive one and a cheap one. But here's how we came to this video. You know, I just started a kitchen remodel at my parents' house and the shutoff valve for the ice maker, I couldn't get it to shut off. It was dripping no matter what I did. It's not that old. It's probably only 25 years old. And I thought, you know, I wonder what's inside that thing. And I wonder what the difference is if we cut open the one that I like, which is the quarter turn ball valve or the standard model. So here's what I did. I enlisted Jordan Smith, who's on the build show on the steel side of things. Jordan took all three of these and took them to our shop and actually cut them in half with a bandsaw. So first, let's start with the standard one. This is a compression fitting, and the way you can tell that, that we're talking about this one is typically you're gonna see a plastic stem at the top. This one's gonna take multiple turns to actually get it to shut off. Now when we cut this open, here's what it looks like. That plastic is going all the way down until there's a rubber gasket, and that rubber gasket is making contact with the brass, and that's actually what's shutting it off. Now, a couple things I don't necessarily like about this one. Number one, I'm worried that that plastic might actually shear off someday. And I'm also worried about how that rubber is going to fare over time. So the 20 year old valve, look at this. It looks pretty much the same as this new one, same style, compression style. But when we cut it open, interesting, no more plastic. 20 years ago, they weren't using plastic for that stem. But this is really interesting. Look where the rubber was, that gasket is totally gone. Now it's possible it was kind of crumbly and maybe when he bandsawed this off, that plastic got removed. But I think more likely is that over time, the chlorine in the water, mineral deposits, whatever it is, it broke down that rubber that was forming that gasket. And now when I crank this thing down, it wouldn't actually shut off. So then what's the difference between these and a ball valve? Now this ball valve right here, only takes a quarter turn to shut it off. And if you look down in there, you can actually see there's a ball that has a hole in it that when we turn it, it opens up. Now when we saw this one in half, here's what you're gonna see here. There's the ball on the other half there, and there's no rubber on this one. This one has a nylon seat that the ball moves in. And I think what you're gonna find is over time, this is gonna last much, much better than the rubber, which is gonna get broken down. Now it's hard to put an exact lifespan on this, but this fitting right here, 25 years old, that rubber's gone. This one with the nylon, I think we're gonna go another decade or two longer. It's hard to say exactly how many decades we're gonna go, but I think you're gonna go much longer. Now price-wise for these, I looked these up in a couple different places to get a, get a gauge for price, but if you just buy these at your local home center like I did this morning, $7 for the compression, for the quarter turn about $9, so not much difference, $2 per. I bet if you bought these at a supply house where you're buying you know, 50 or these at 100 at a time, you might be able to get these for under five bucks, you know, two, three, four dollars each. These are probably still gonna be in the seven, eight dollar range. So that's certainly gonna add up in a standard single family home. You need two of these for every sink, one for the toilet, one for the ice maker. You know, the difference in price between these might add up to 50 or $60 in the end but I can tell you it's definitely worth it to get that quarter turn on there. That ball valve is gonna be much longer lasting. Very impressive and very cool to cut these open. Thanks for Jordan for giving me that cross cut so we could actually point to the differences. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our channel. We're publishing new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. We'll see you on Friday for our gift guide. See you soon.